Hey fellow vapors, this is uh, Vester, getting ready to do a tutorial on how to wrap the coils on ProTank 2 heads. I use them in ProTank 2's and uh, the David glassomizer and uh, the EVOD tanks as well. Uh, it's real simple, there's been a couple other videos about how to wrap the heads, but uh, I use cotton instead of uh, silica. Uh, this is the cotton I use. Sh sugar and cream. Comes from Michaels. Costs about two dollars for this skein. And it's 100% uh, USA grown cotton. Uh, boil it twice for about uh, 30 minutes each time. Just, uh, just to get all the sizing out and anything else they may have added to it. Um, just to make it stiff. but. Uh, that's a, quite a bit. I cut off a 10 foot section and I've recoiled about 30 heads and uh, no problems there. I've still got some left. I'm still going to use some today. Uh, you got some 32 gauge canthal wire. Uh, I use this so that uh, <clears throat> I don't have to use as much and I can fit it inside the head because as you'll see in a little bit the, uh, the area that you're working with is uh, it's pretty small get about a 3-4 wrap for that. A dental pick. This helps with spreading out, making sure there's no hot spots or anything. It's very sharp, so be careful with that. Or anything, a uh, toothpick will work, or anything like that will work. A lighter. We're all familiar with this, especially those of us who are ex-smokers. I just happen to be able to find one in the house after I quit smoking. Uh, nail clippers. They work very well for trimming the wire. And here's my mandrel. It's a 440 uh, machine screw gives you a nice tight coil uh, allows you to control where the coil goes you can wrap it around anything people use drill bits or, or toothpicks or whatever but I think I find that that gives me the right size for fitting inside okay let's go on. let's uh, start with the wrapping okay so here you got your pro tank head Hopefully. Come on. There you go. Okay, so you get your pro tank head. It does not want to focus. Okay, and uh, there you go. So here's your pro tank head, and uh, see this one's looks like it's ready to be changed out. So. To do is you probably the first time you break this loose you probably have to use uh, needle nose pliers, but since I've rebuilt these before, they just come out, pop out the stem. Uh, put that off to the side. Actually, put that off to the side here. And I don't know if you can see it, but that's pretty gunky in there. Um, Yeah, there you go. You can see it is pretty, pretty nasty in there. So, um, sometimes I I pull out the wick looking material and try to clean that. Uh, but uh, since I'm doing this tutorial, pull it out and I you get a hold of this center post. Get your fingernails underneath it. right out. Grab this wicking material here, whatever you're using. Hopefully it comes sliding out. Oh, nope. See, look, the whole thing. Came out. That's gross. See, no wonder I was getting burnt taste out of that. Um, put that down. And then you've got this rubber grommet once again. Be gentle with it. You don't want to tear it. Just pull it out. Pop. There you go. Okay, now you can see you got your empty head here. Take all that disgusting stuff off the head. Okay, now if they're that gunky, I will clean them in some vodka. Um, let them soak it, or scrub them off. Let them soak in vodka, uh, then let them dry and get all that gunkiness off of them before I rebuild them. Kind of like this one. Okay, so here we got. Uh, this going on here. 
Um, we got the the head. We'll put all that back here for right now. Yeah, it's a canthal wire. Uh, like I said, I use a 32 gauge because I don't want to have to make a hole, or I want to uh, have enough, or wrap it enough times and get a good good connection with the uh, with the with the actual wick, and it's uh, it's it's pretty tight in there, so it's uh, need a smaller wire. First thing to do, you do, is light this bad boy up, get it nice and glowing, and what that does is it tempers it. And it makes it so that when you wrap your coil, it's pretty springy stuff, but when you wrap the coil, it stays. You're not going to melt it, trust me. Uh, let's see, let's see if I can get this to focus in here. Nope, oh, not with that crap in the background. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Now, um, this is I tried it several different ways uh, across the screw, but you got to kind of go with the with the uh, threads here. So just hold it, hold it with one hand, take it around. Make sure you give yourself, whoop, make sure you give yourself plenty of leg there, because you're going to be running it through the middle of the thing. Hold it, running around. Make sure you're getting it. in the threads here. And there we got four over, three under wrap. And now you can either torch it, make sure the legs are going both in the same direction uh, for the pro tank. If you were wrapping a uh, RBA or whatever, uh, you'd end up going in different directions with this one, both, of them, both legs going the same way. See what we got here. Okay, now you can either torch it, heat it up here on the on the screw to make it stick a little bit. Um, uh, just be careful because you also heated up that screw and you don't want to burn yourself. Okay, so unscrew that sucker. Now you got a nice. Very nice. Okay, and it's pretty rigid since you tempered it. Okay. Now you can set it up for a second firing if you want. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't, but we'll go ahead and do that again. And you can see, watch it get red here. Yeah. Okay. Good. And now it's pretty much set in that in in that uh, in that configuration. Cool. Next thing we're gonna do. So we'll take some of this excellent cotton. You don't need very much, but you want it. You're you're gonna thread it through. Uh, one thing I didn't show you uh, on my parts list is my needle. There it is. Uh, my needle. You can use a beading needle. I uh, get it at a craft store, but. Uh, uh, the ones I got didn't work and I didn't feel like trying to figure it out again so or go and buy it again so I used the length of Kenthal wire heated it up so that it wrapped around itself very well made an eye on it now that's my, my wick threading needle okay so here we've got one section of the uh, of the wick and it is Coming off of here, you can see it is four, four strands. So I'm going to pull that apart until you have two strands. Now I've done them with six, with uh, four strand or three strands going through, and. Uh, it went okay, but I think I've, I've I've found the best results are just two two strands doubled. So you take 
two strands, run them into the needle, God. run it into the needle, okay, good to go, just, and just take this thing, and run it through the middle of all the coils, Sucker off at the end. Here, make sure you don't kill your needle, cause I've done that. Clipped, clipped the needle, and then now I got to make another one. Not a big deal. The canthal, uh, the Temco canthal wire is not expensive, especially considering how much you're saving doing this on your own. Okay, so now we've got our head. Now you can put a paper clip through here to keep this rigid if you like, if you really want to. Uh, I did that a couple times and then I lost my paper clip and I couldn't find it so now I don't even use it. So I keep meaning to get a hold of another paper clip somehow and uh, I keep forgetting. So you'll run both both of them through the bottom. See here, you can see them both sticking out. And uh, get that coil in the center. There, you gotta make sure it's not touching the sides or else you'll short out. Take one of these legs. I, what I do is I'll take one of these legs and I'll bend it. Like that. Okay? Make sure your stuff's all still in the, in the middle there. And then you'll take the rubber grommet. This here. And you want to run the wire through the center. down to here the one one leg is out you see it's off to the side and in contact with the body and the other is going through your positive leg is the one in the middle now okay so push that sucker in be careful keep, keep I check this and make sure it's still in the middle there because that outside leg tends to get uh, pushed in a little bit give it a little tug and then Press that in. Good to go. Okay, checking it. Okay, it's still in the middle. Good. Now I'll take this and I'll bend this in the other direction. So now you got kind of so that you're keeping them apart as much as possible. And you can take this and just like push it in. Check, make sure things everything's good to go in there. Looks pretty nice. Um, this one looks like it's a little bit far over, so I'll take it and do a little pull. Recenter. Go down a little bit, make sure this one might make sure that nothing's touching the sidewall or any of that kind of goofy stuff because shorts are bad. So, there we go. It's all in there now. I'll take this, and uh, this is one of the reasons why I use the clippers. Because you can get down in there really close. Okay, you see that? And then I, I don't like that, so I get my thumbnail in there. Pull it up a little bit. And clip it again. Now it's way out of the way. Uh, and the same thing on the other side. Oh, that popped out. And there we go. Now you've got make sure it's all in there. Now there's some people who will take this, just like this, and do it. Uh, I leave the tails on. Uh, since and, and I haven't tried that yet because I use my heads in both the, uh, in both my EVOD tank and my and my, uh, in both my EVOD tank and my Pro tank. So, uh, the EVOD tank, there's no way you could keep the tails on. Uh, so, for this, so the, for these ones, 
I don't leave the tail on. I do leave it a little bit longer than the stock. Than the stock uh, wicks, but. Now, now don't worry, be worried about how loose that is in there. Cotton swells up really nice. I have yet to have uh, a, a serious leak in one of these unless it was uh, unless it was low on juice or whatever. Okay, so the bad thing about cotton wet cotton is that you cannot dry burn it. You can't dry burn it to see if it's gonna work or if you're gonna get any hot spots. Um, so that that kind of sucks, but. Uh, so since I can't do that, I test for shorts with my, uh, I taste, uh, SVD. Hold on. I taste SVD. Okay. So, uh, got an old bottom cap for a uh, MT3S, because currently all my pro tanks have juice in them. So go ahead and screw that sucker in. And with this wrap, I should be getting around 1.7, 1.8. Boom, baby. 1.7. So no shorts. Uh, And uh, I love it. I love this. It's like I said, the Canthal cost me about three dollars, or actually about four dollars for a hundred feet. Um, the the uh, the cotton cost me about two dollars because I had a coupon, and uh, the rest of and then uh, just empty heads. Uh, the rest of the stuff was laying around the house. So. Uh, Figure I can for about seven dollars I can wick about four hundred heads easy, uh, huge huge savings, and like I said this cotton, it uh, it works out real well. So and then once you're done, here's your stem. Push that sucker back in there. Push your uh, your grommet back down. Make sure. I always try to make sure that this stuff, this thing is all the way down to the bottom so it doesn't pinch out and create a void when you put it in the, in the, uh, in the tank. Okay, and that's one wrap done. Thank you very much for, uh, watching and hopefully you enjoy. This is my first, uh, tutorial and, uh, by popular demand. So, uh, take it easy and, uh, vape strong.